Hello friends, I am CS Jaspreet. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a Gandhi Jayanti special video. It's a motivational video on the teachings and quotes by Gandhi ji. If you are new to my channel, I make educational videos for commerce students and CA, CS and CMA students as well as members. Today's video is like a motivational video because today is Gandhi Jayanti. I wanted to share some of the teachings and quotes by Gandhi ji. Before proceeding further, please subscribe my channel, like the video and if you really like the video then hit the like button and do share it with your friends and relatives. The topic of the video is life lessons your child must learn from teachings of Mahatma Gandhi. Now Mahatma Gandhi has given us such beautiful teachings and quotes and what are the life lessons that your child must learn from his teachings that is what I'm gonna share with this and this is just a little bit of my own experience and by reading all these articles what I got to know I will be sharing that with you. The first teaching that is live life to the fullest very very important now it's the quality of your life that matters not the speed with which you work this is also something beautiful live life to the fullest I think we get life only once and we should live it like that only uh, the quality with which we live our lives is very very important in this era of technology it's important to teach your kids to lead productive lives uh, today's kids are busy with you know phones laptops they don't know the quality of life they should live your life should be lived in such a way that it should have productive things in it now try to fill their day with interesting activities and indulge them in outdoor activities we can make indoor activities as well because of the pandemic we can make them play uh, like they play in parks and we can make interesting and indulging activities indoors only to make their lives productive instead of wasting their times on mobile phones all the time and the activities should be from which he learn something valuable the very important thing that then only the life they will learn something from the activities or the things they are doing on daily basis so live life to the fullest the next teaching is always speak the truth. Even if you are a minority of one, the truth is the truth. Very important. In today's time, I think it, it has become really important because in the world of liars, make your child stand out by telling him the importance of truth. Today's world people, I think everybody is lying and you, you should tell your child very categorically that a lie is a lie whether it's a small lie whether it's a it's a big lie the kid should know whether it's a small lie or a big lie a lie is a lie and he should learn to speak and stand with truth no matter with what the consequences will be this is something very important one should not only speak the truth they should know how to stand up with the truth it's something and this is a good life lesson your child should learn that he should stand and speak truth very very important uh, because I, I there's a very famous quote also that once a liar is always a liar when a child or when a person knows that okay this while I'm lying I'm saving myself I am guarding myself from all the problems that person then starts lying all his life this is like an addiction of lying so don't make that happen with your child teach him that always speak the truth the next teaching is let the change begin from you now you must be the change you wish to see in the world there's a very famous Mahatma Gandhi quote that you must be the change you wish to see in the world we start blaming the people and the systems if something wrong happens but always look into yourself what you are before blaming others before blaming the systems before blaming the rules and regulations look at yourself that whether you are following them or not teach your child that it is important to reflect one's shortcomings and how they can be improved right in today's time you know people are very much eager to find the shortcomings of other people 
they are very much ready to tell you okay you are uh, you are bad at this thing you are bad at this thing to abuse others to curse others but when it comes to themselves they are not ready to accept any of their own mistakes any of their own shortcomings so for a child it's very important to reflect his own shortcomings and try to work on them try to improve them tell him that self realization is one of the ways to achieve success very important if he wants to be successful self realization is very important whether i am right whether i am wrong whether i am supporting the right people whether i am supporting the wrong people and whether if you want the people to change if you want the circumstances to change start making the change within yourself and let the change begin from you the next teaching is believe in love the day the power of love overrules the love of power the world will know peace such a beautiful quote that if you know the power of love and it overrules the love of power the world will know peace why are people doing wrong things or why are people making uh, illegal things or wrong doings because they they have the love of power everybody wants to be in power whether it's uh, in a family whether it's in a country whether it's in the world everybody loves the power and that love for power always always dominates the power of love because somewhere or the other the power the majority the priority is loved more than actually the true love in this world and that is why the world cannot actually experience the peace when your child grows with kids from different background culture religion language teach him to love and respect all of them never teach him right we are not going to talk to them or never make him say these are you know from different castes from different backgrounds make him respect everybody there should be no biases over any kind of superiority and be a good role model to your child by teaching him how important love is in today's world of heartless people especially in today's world i think there are very less people who actually know the power of true love and who actually truly love other people who actually truly give back the love to the people who love them they're just heartless people and that is why you need to believe in love your child must know that you need to love and you need to respect all of the people who are around you then only the world can become a beautiful place to live in so believe in love the next teaching is think before you act now the future depends on what you do today very important i have uh known many people who just act without thinking anything and that is something you are abruptly uh, destroying your own future because every small act or every decision matters whatever your actions are showing what you are i believe your words even your words are something that can be uh, justified or your words can somewhere be uh, you know put aside but when you're acting wrong when your actions are wrong then you become wrong you know actions matter a lot actions tell actually what this person is not their words because words can be manipulated and actions are something that comes from within a person so we ourselves are responsible for our futures teach your child that every action done in present will have its impact on future and he must think about what is he going to do before he puts it in action very very important your child should clearly know if i act bad today i will get a bad future and if i act good today if my actions are good my future will be a beautiful thing so always always think before you act the next one live to learn live as if you were to die tomorrow learn as if you were to live forever very important if you live the way that you're going to die tomorrow i think you'll live to the fullest you live uh, the most happiest uh, days of your life and learn as if you were to live forever but never stop learning anything learn from everything learn from your surroundings we all should be lifelong learners not just our children not just our kids you know we have to be their role models you cannot just uh, you know talk to them okay do this do that you have to become a good example for them
so you yourself have to become lifelong learners and one should learn from everything happening around teach your child to learn from all life experiences failures mistakes to become a better person tomorrow as parents we should ensure that they should learn from experiences they should learn not just from experiences they should learn from everybody around them the people they live with the their friends their family uh, the experiences they are having the failures the mistakes and we ourselves also have to set a good example for them that we have also learned these and these things in our lives and you should also keep learning in your life so live to learn the next teaching be positive in today's world i think positive is a bit uh you know a uh, bit dangerous to say <laughs> but yes in your thoughts and your lives always be positive a man is but the product of his thoughts what he thinks he becomes it is very much said you know when you uh, talk your thoughts out or what what you are wh- how do would you other people know what you are that is being shown by your thoughts your thinking process you know what what are the things that you are thinking so you become what you think you become that if you are thinking wrong if your thinking is uh, you know wrong if you think uh, bad about people that is what you become yourself also a positive attitude towards life help one enjoy and live life in a great manner teach your child not to be disheartened by negativity around him now in today's time negative people negative energies toxic people they are surrounding surrounded everywhere around us so your child we have to make them understand that you need not be disheartened by the negativity around you but try to find the positivity in each situation you have to see the positivity whether the situations are good whether the situations are bad the thing we have to find out is positivity because once the time changes the situations also change with a positive mindset he can go through all tough times of his life the positivity we have in ourselves we have inside helps us fight through the battles of our life help us go through the tough times of our life so teach him not to get disheartened by the negativity and be positive the next teaching is learn to forgive now it's a very famous quote an eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind it's a beautiful quote but you know sometimes in your life you actually think that an eye for an eye is actually not right an eye for an eye will do the justice so when one is wronged it's natural to want to retaliate and kind when somebody does something wrong to us when somebody does is something evil something bad to us at that point of time we also want to retaliate and we also want to revenge it back but no we shouldn't do that then there will be no difference between them and us that is why it's been said an eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind but we should teach our kids revenge does not lead to happiness or peace this is very important thing revenge will lead to nothing that will make us at par with them we should teach our kids forgiveness for mental peace you don't have to forgive the, forgive them for the people who are doing you wrong you have to forgive them for yourselves because you want mental peace teach them to forgive and move forward we cannot carry the baggages of wrong behavior with us right because carrying that baggages with us it's, it's just like a burden an, an unwanted burden on our hearts and taking it along with us but my personal thinking is learn to forgive but never forget it's a very famous quote forgive but never forget never forget and learn to uh, sorry and try to learn from the lessons the other people are giving you try to learn from their behaviors if they can you know uh, like it said an eye for an eye if they can do bad to you what are they to you what are those people actually you have to understand that so teach your child to be forgiveful to forgive the people but never forget them so learn to forgive
The next teaching is be true to yourself. So a no uttered from the deepest conviction is better than a yes merely uttered to please or worse to avoid trouble. Now what we think, what we become, we start saying yes to toxic people, to wrong situations, to bad activities that you know we just want to please so and so person or we just want to avoid the troubles and we fear to say no. Because that could lead us to troubles, that could lead us to unwanted situations. That is why we start saying yes and we stop believing that we have to be true to ourselves also. One should always be true to oneself. It's better to become bad by saying no rather than please others by saying yes. I know it is difficult because it's... It's somehow, I would say, it's in your nature only. Some people just cannot say no. And the people who cannot say no to wrong activities, to wrong people are being used to the extent that they are broken badly. So always teach your child to be true to himself. Even if he displeases some people, say no. We are not here to please everybody around. In any way also, nobody is pleased by us. So Teach him to say no. It's important to be true to ourselves. So be true to yourself. A beautiful teaching, care for Mother Earth. Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs, but not every man's greed. Very important. Uh, yes, Earth is providing us the food that is that we are eating and every man's needs are being satisfied. Yes, but not the greeds. Greeds are anyway also not satisfied by any anything. The, the money you have, the abundance you have, a man can never get satisfied. A greedy man, I would say. A greedy man can never get satisfied. The nature gives us a lot. So we should also protect the environment. We should all behave responsibly towards the environment. Teach your child to respect and protect Mother Earth from getting dirty. And we should preserve our nature for future generations. I have seen like... It's a very a small thing to teach your child manners to like not to litter the streets or not to litter the parks. It's not something very difficult. You just have to teach that whenever you eat something or whenever you have to throw something, use the dustbins which are being used. These are very small things. These are very small lessons we need to teach our kids that, you know, that become a very big thing when they grow up. They, they show their manners, they show what they have learned, they show their teachings. So always teach them care for Mother Earth. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really feel you like the video. Please share the video with your family, with your friends, uh, with your friends having kids. It's just some uh, thoughts that came to my mind and I just want to share the teachings of Mahatma Gandhiji on his Jayanti, on his birth anniversary which we should also try to incorporate in our daily lives we have completely forgotten all these things we should incorporate them and try teaching our kids all this so hit the like button if you like the video do leave a comment thank you